Do you know that you should be delegating, but you're feeling a little bit stuck because you're not too sure if you can afford it right now or how you will even start to pass on information to someone else? Well, if that's the case, don't worry. In today's video, I will take you through the three steps that will set you up for success once you find the right fit for your company. You know how you imagine that starting a business, you'll have so much free time for your family, but then you end up glued to your phone worrying about deadlines? The KVM team is committed to supporting interior designers with tasks that are outside their zone of genius so that they can focus on what matters most. With our help, these designers can grow their business without the cost and hassle of having full-time employees and free up more time for rest. Hey, I'm Chris. I'm the director of KVM Interior Design, an outsourcing firm supporting interior designers. And in today's video, I want to talk about the three steps that will help you move the needle forward in your business so that you can start delegating, free up time, rest more, spend more time with your family and grow a business without feeling stressed. If you have reached a point in your business where you always feel overwhelmed, overworked, you lack direction as to what's next, you probably have heard somewhere someone saying that a business, a successful one, isn't built alone. That's so true. And with limited energy, time and resources, it's practically impossible to reach your goals and have a work-life balance. I have worked with over 100 designers and the objections to delegating are almost always the same. Here at KVM, we work really hard to help you move past these blocks, these mindset blocks, and make the process of delegating as easy as it can get. So don't let fear get in the way of your growth. Okay, now, can you relate to any of these? Will it be done better than me? Ah, it will take too long to brief. I might as well do it myself. I can't afford it right now. I have to do it all alone. Or it's my business. It's normal that I struggle. Yeah? Okay, let me be clear for a second. There are people out there who are the right fit for your business. That's a fact. That means that there is someone or more than one person actually who is the right fit for your business. And that means someone who is going to do the work better than you and for a cheaper hourly rate. But like any relationship that you build, you need to get to know this person and spend a little bit of time training them so they know exactly who you are, what your expect expectations are, and what deliverables you are expecting. If you are making money with a $150, $200 uh, hourly rate, you can absolutely get some help for a cheaper rate and that will free you to focus on the most important tasks in your business. If not, it means that you're either not pricing your services the right way uh, and you're working for free or, or most for free, or you're not delegating the right way or to the right person. Okay, now that we're on the same page, let's go through the three steps that will make it easier to find the right team or freelancer and how to successfully outsource to them. Number one, look out for quality and simplicity. What I mean by that first quality, you should be checking that person or that team's portfolio, the work that they've done for other clients. You should check out their testimonials. So what are clients saying about them on social media, on Instagram, Facebook, on Google? So making sure that they have worked with other designers before and they have a few testimonials showing, well, the type of transformation that you're also expecting for yourself is going to be helpful. Getting on a call with them if you're not sure, making sure that communication is easy, that you can easily um, tell them about your concerns, ask them questions. It's all very important. So do that if you need to. And also checking their process, asking them, you know, how the process of uh, delegating is going to be like. Does it sound like you're, you're going to have to bring too many calories to understand how it works? If so, maybe they're not the right fit for you. Quality and turnaround time are big ones. They need to match or be better than what you're producing right now for your clients. Number two, you need to brief this team efficiently. So whether you're going to do the work yourself or not, you're going to need to gather information. That's a fact. So I'm not going to tell you that briefing someone is going to be easy. That's going to be, that is going to take two minute stops. It's not the case because whether you do it yourself or not, you're going to have to gather all the information that you need to explain what it is that you need. If you are looking for floor plans, they're gonna need the dimensions of the space. That's a fact. You can't go around not giving them any information. 
if you want the project to be successful. But even though a really good brief might, depending on the size of the project, it could take you 20, 30 minutes, it's still hours of, of your time that you're not going to have to work on this project and you're going to be able to focus on what is really going to move the needle forward in your business, whether it's actually freeing up some of your time to go out for a walk so you feel more creative and more inspired for your next, next project, or if it's to have a CEO day where you can uh, really look at strategy and how you're going to reach your next business goal. But for example, if you think about it, any good CAD technician will do a great job at doing plans for you. You don't need to be doing it yourself. There are plenty of other tasks that only you can do. So just focus on those ones. So I know that delegating is a little bit difficult for a lot of you, like putting together a brief. So I've created a brief template to help you think quickly what you need to be sending for different types of tasks. So I will link um, this brief template down below so you can just download it and see what I'm talking about. Number three, you need to make sure that you're pricing your services the right way. What do I mean by that? I've noticed that so many designers underprice their services because they don't know how long tasks really take them. They start doing product sourcing and instead of taking them two hours, they're going to spend the entire day uh, doing sourcing. So when you really look at how long things take you, you realize that your hourly rate is not $100 or $200 per hour. It's actually $100 or $90. So it makes a big difference to know how long things take. And I really recommend that initially you start tracking everything just so that you have an idea on, on how much time you're spending doing things, even if you're not charging hourly. If you really want to make delegating a part of your business in the long run, work with them, whether it's a freelancer or a full outsourcing team like ours, um, to create a pricing guide for different types of tasks. So you have at least a good idea of, of how long they estimate each task to take. So you know for a specific project, what are the tasks in that one project that you will want to do yourself and what are the tasks that you don't like doing, you, you don't have the skills for, or you just don't think you should be doing. And then um, kind of ask them how long things are going to take for them on their side. Then add the, the time that you think it's going to take you on your side. Then you can just add, add up a markup on top of that uh, for revisions. If you want to include revisions in your packages and voila, you have your package that is based on real hours that those tasks are going to take and then you don't end up doing the work almost for free and you can afford to delegate because who's going to pay for the delegating team is actually your client, not yourself. So we charge our clients hourly, but we also work with them when they reach out to us to build packages for them. So for example, we recently worked with a client to help her with her e-design packages because she was, she realized that the price was very low. She wasn't making much money and she didn't like doing them. So now she's going to take care of the design. We're going to take care of the rest, which means floor plans, elevations, 3D rendering, product sourcing, and the presentation. And because we have um, based our estimate on a specific type of room, uh, or size, then it's much easier to tell the client, look, we estimate that a room this size is going to take us that many hours. Then she's going to add what she thinks is going to take her to do the design. She's going to add her markup. So what she wants to make on top of our fee. And she redid all her pricing like this. I highly recommend you to download our quote guide. It will help you figure out how long specific tasks take based on um, room size. And then you can also reach out to us and tell us about your projects. If it's always kind of the same package, we can build um, a fee together that will work for you so that you don't feel like you can't afford to delegate because if you're pricing your services the right way, then you can absolutely afford it and you should be delegating if you want to build a business that's going to be sustainable and successful in the long run without feel you feeling completely overwhelmed. To summarize, our three steps to delegating successfully are review the quality and the process, then become an expert at briefing efficiently and price your services correctly. So I want to invite you now to download all your freebies so you have a better idea of what you need before you start delegating. And if you want to get on a free call with me to talk about your business, see if there's potential for you to delegate right now, what are the tasks that you should be delegating? Uh, because this is an important one. You need to figure out what you'll be doing yourself and what you'll be delegating. 
And yes, if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, comment, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video.